<laughs> Everybody, Xander Jones here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys the equipment that I have so far for my film directing. Those of you guys who do not know, I will be filming my first music video this Friday. What's that, two days from now? No, less, less, because I'm going to be um, filming on a Friday. It's Wednesday night now. So, anyway, so here's what, uh, a little rundown of what I got. Here's the EOS. Oh. Uh, ADD Canon. I have the lens cover and everything on it right now. I've got this whole big lens attachment. I'll, I'll go ahead and put it on for you guys so you can see what that looks like. Gotta screw this on. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get on here, but once you get it, it's a lock in place. Got to line up. There we go. Line up just right. And ta da! And uh, of course, this thing flips out. Films in 1080p resolution. Not quite 4K, but it'll suffice for a music video. And um, I also have a lens hood for this thing. I haven't figured out how to put it on yet. In fact, I think I accidentally bought a size too small. So, um,. It's alright, these things are only like $12, $14 anyway. But uh, that, that's the camera I will be using. And this here is a Rode mic. Especially designed mainly for interviews, but it'll work both ways. It can record just about any sound. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go on and take it out of the package or nothing, but as you can see from the picture here, it attaches right on the top of a Canon camera. This uh, metal piece here is where you latch it on. And here's a better look at it on the back. So I gotta put some 9 volt batteries in it. Anyway, so now we have my tripod. Picking it up now. Uh, it has a level attached to it. And you can move it any way you want. I just like to keep it level for now. Now, this I just got in the mail today. This is my slider. It's a, like a track. But just loosen this up, and this screw here is for you to put your camera on top of it, and you can attach it to the top of this. Here. Tripod. Then whenever you got the camera on there, you're ready to rock. And whenever you manually do this, it's designed to go very smoothly. So that way you could do those slide shots. Anyway, lock in place here. This I'm still trying to get used to. This is my Steadicam. It's like a bevel slash stabilizer. It's cheap, it has its weights on it. I still gotta figure out how to balance it out right whenever I have the camera on there. Uh, but the idea is that you're supposed to be able to hold it right here, move all around, and the camera's supposed to stay still. And it's good for uh, like walking behind people for whenever you don't have a track, because again, this is for budgeting. Uh, so I'm gonna set this here for now. I'll, I'll figure this out within the next 24 hours. Um, this here is a reflector for these special LED lights here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up these panels. I don't have any faders yet, but I'm sure I can probably get that at a photography supply store somewhere. Anyway, uh, I don't have it hooked up, but I'm going to get some extension cords for this because we got to film this really big area on Friday. And, uh, yeah, I want to keep those kind of protected. They're expensive. I just got these uh, stands today. They didn't come with them. Uh, with the lights, I had to attach it myself. And uh, this here, this is a small little light. I just got this cheap from Home Depot. It's a really small construction light. Uh, you never know, it could come in handy for some like low angles or something. Shut off uh, during the last video, but I do have only one more thing left to show you. It's my light reflector for these LED lights. Watch this. Just kind of pops out like that. And uh, you can hold it like so to reflect the lights in certain ways to get the right kind of lighting that you need. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Thank you.